by drought in half the counties in the United States. Wildfires rage across the western United States, and we saw what extreme weather did when Hurricane Sandy hit the Atlantic seaboard. This climate disruption that's causing these extreme weather events is not just happening around the globe, it's happening right here in Seattle too. 2012 was the hottest year on record for our planet. And one month ago, the highest tide ever recorded in the city of Seattle happened. The actions that we've taken in the past have bought us a certain amount of climate change. And we're already starting to see those impacts. As we start to figure out how we adapt to those impacts, we're doing some analysis. This map here that was prepared by Seattle Public Utilities gives us a glimpse of what the future of Seattle looks like with these climate impacts. If we look on the map, you can see blue areas throughout the Duwamish Waterway. You can look over my shoulders and see the cranes that represent the economic, the economic activity of the maritime and industrial sector that creates so many family wage jobs. And when you look at the map and you see that most of Harbor Island can be underwater in these events. It really causes us concern about what the future looks like and how we adapt to that. What we see today and call extreme weather looks like it may be more normal events going forward. And it's not just the Duwamish. If we look across the way at Alpine Point, last month at the high tide events, 100 properties were flooded. Where we're standing right here, we see debris from the storm that hit a month ago. When we go forward, we need to be looking at the mitigation efforts we take to reduce the, the climate impacts of our actions in the future. But we also know that our actions in the past have bought us a certain amount of climate change. And we need to be adapting for that. 